Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. So today we actually have the boys six month checkup. Yes, you heard that right. Six months. I cannot believe that six months has flown by like it has. I was actually talking about this with my friend Casey the other day, but having babies like you really can see time move in a normal year six months goes by and you don't really have anything to look at to realize six months has gone by but with babies you can see how much changes in just six months i mean my boys are completely different babies than what they were six months ago and it honestly blows my mind how fast time flies but today we have the boys six month checkup that appointment is at 8 45 i think it's around like 7 50 ish now the boys woke up and ate and now they're sitting in the bedroom with Harris. They're sitting in their little seats watching some TV and playing with Harris and I'm in the playroom. I'm going to head into their room in a minute so I can pick out their outfits as well as get some things together to pack the diaper bag. And once I do that, I will go back into my room. I'll finish getting myself ready and then I'll get the boys dressed and we'll get ready to head out the door. It's a super gray and gloomy day outside. I'm sure you could tell by the lighting. So depending on what the weather looks like I actually think it's supposed to rain for most of the day so depending on what the weather looks like I may not be able to film the boys update today and if that's the case I'll film it first thing tomorrow when they take their first nap of the day because tomorrow's supposed to be nice and sunny and I really want to get this video filmed and up for you guys so depending on what the weather looks like either today or tomorrow I'll film the update portion but today's video is just going to be the usual vlog in the morning take you guys along to the doctor's appointment and then the update in the latter part of the video and i'm actually excited for this month's update because i feel like i have a bit more to update you guys on from months four to five there really wasn't too much to update you guys on i feel like not too much changed but from months five to six we've made changes in their eating schedule their sleeping schedule things have gone on like developmentally and things like that so i feel like i have more to update you guys on so i'm actually excited to sit down and chat with you guys about what has gone on over the past month so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm gonna go into their room now pick out their outfits it looks a little humid all our windows are fogged up so i'm not really sure where i'm gonna put the boys in probably just like shorts and a t-shirt per usual but i'm gonna head into the room and pick that stuff out and then i'll get ready and they'll get ready and we'll head out to the doctors this is what i think we're gonna go with today cute casual comfy both shirts are from mini monster these shorts i believe are from century 21 i'm not really sure the brand is splendid this is going to be Benny's outfit. You could hear the boys, they want me. And then Jack is gonna wear these black Miles baby shorts. Let's go in and see what the bubbies are doing. First, let's turn this off. Bubbies, you want mommies? <laughs> Do you wanna get dressed for the doctor? <laughs> yeah, hi Benny. That's what you're looking. Some spitties. Okay, Mama's gonna get dressed and then I'll get you dressed. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, Are you the doctor now? Chunky, chunky boy. <laughs> Mommy's excited to see how big you are. <laughs> Brother. Yeah. What are you doing? Where'd the doctor go? Benny? Did you do so good getting your shots? No tears? Nothing? What is that? Mommy's bearing? You didn't even get your shots yet, Bubby. You don't even know what's coming. We just got home from the boys' doctor's appointment, and I think I said this last month, but I don't know why I make their appointments during their nap times. They were completely fine there. They weren't that cranky at all, actually. They were pretty happy, and surprisingly, neither of them shed one single tear or even winced at all when getting their shots, so they were in like a good mood while they were there, but... They only slept for like 15, 20 minutes on the car ride home and I tried to transition them to their cribs upstairs to see if they'd fall back asleep and it doesn't look like either of them are going to. So they have to be up to eat in a little bit. 
I'm gonna go up there and get them if they don't fall asleep and I'll feed them and I'll try and keep them awake for as long as I can but if they can't make it till like 12 30 which is when their next nap usually is that's fine I'll just put them to bed around like 12 and then let them sleep a little bit longer since they didn't get a good restful nap in the morning so that's an update on that if the weather holds out it's not raining yet it is super gloomy which the lighting probably won't be the best if I film the update today but if the weather holds out and it doesn't start raining I know there's supposed to be like a tropical storm today or something so if the weather holds out and it doesn't start raining during their next nap I will sit down and film the update for you guys but if it does start raining then I will just film that tomorrow morning it is now like five days later I had no idea how that storm was going to go down I had no idea that it was going to happen the way it did when the pediatrician said that morning that the boys were going to experience like their first tropical storm in my mind I just thought it was going to be like a really bad thunderstorm like a lot of wind I really didn't think it was going to be nearly as bad as it was and so I took that clip saying like oh it's a little windy out it doesn't look like it's gonna rain you know I'm gonna wait and see and maybe I will film the update for you guys and after that the boys woke up and I fed them and everything they went down for another nap and that is when the storm really started to hit it was super super windy and at first it started out like any old thunderstorm with like rain and wind and all that kind of stuff but then the rain stopped and it was seriously just like hurricane force winds and so we wound up losing power Harris left work early and was on his way home when we lost power and I also lost cell phone service so I couldn't really get into touch with him and within 30 seconds of him being home we had a tree fall in our front yard when he was on his way home and after we had lost power I was pacing from window to window in my house watching all of the trees since I live in such a wooded area I'm going to insert like footage of what was going on um but I was pacing from window to window watching all the trees seeing if any of them were going to fall I was so paranoid that a tree was going to fall and the boys were napping on the second floor and then we started to get tornado warnings and I was like oh my god we have to go into the basement there's a tornado I was seriously freaking out I hate thunderstorms to begin with so this seriously made my anxiety spike and so Harris got home within 30 seconds of him being home a tree fell in our front yard a tree fell at the top of our driveway another tree or like part of a tree fell and actually hit Harris's brand new car so it was just a disaster and a tree actually fell at Harris's parents house and landed on his mom's car as well as on the roof of the house and it caused some damage to their home but luckily they didn't wind up losing power and so after the storm ended it was the weirdest thing it turned into the most beautiful day ever with like blue skies we packed everything up and went over to Harris's parents house we thought we were only going to be there for like a day maybe two and we wound up being there for four nights and five days and so finally yesterday Harris and I were obsessively checking the baby monitors since I knew that the baby monitors would automatically turn on once the power came back we were obsessively checking the baby monitors and yesterday we checked and the power was restored so we got home yesterday and took the day to just kind of decompress and enjoy our own home and now it is sunday when i first started this video it was tuesday so it has been quite some time but i'm finally sitting down to finish this update video for you guys i've actually already filmed this entire section of the video I filmed it this morning before a friend came over to chop up the tree in our front yard but for some reason that video recorded without any audio so it's later on the day I just got home from having some breakfast with a friend and now I'm going to update you guys on the boys so I've of course written down some notes for you guys I'm just going to run through what has gone on over this past month so let me flip to six months let's see this notebook is full of so much stuff. Okay, so we'll start with the doctor's appointment per usual. At the doctor's appointment, the boys were weighed and measured, and Ben has surpassed the 20-pound mark. I have a poppy seed in my tooth because I ate an everything bagel, so excuse that. Um, ben has surpassed the 20-pound mark, and Jack is not far behind. Ben is 20 pounds and 4 ounces, and Jack is 19 pounds and 14 ounces. 
Ben is 28 and a half inches long and Jack is 28 inches long. So they are now in the 95th percentile for weight and the 85th percentile for height. So they've had a pretty big growth spur in their height. I think that they spurred maybe two inches, two and a half inches since the last doctor's appointment. And of course they gained like two pounds. Every time I go to the doctors with the boys, they gain like two or three pounds. My mom was like, when are these boys going to level off? And I seriously don't know. Every time we go, they've gained like two or three pounds. So the boys are definitely growing. They're healthy and flourishing. Of course, we talked about Jack's head. And so I personally feel like I'm seeing some improvements in his head. He's definitely not lying down on his back as much. They're still sleeping on their back. They do not sleep on their bellies yet. But for the most part, they like to sit up and play more now. So he's not on his back a whole lot. So I feel like I see subtle improvements. But this month, I am going to make an appointment for, for both Jack and Ben to see a neurosurgeon to get their head scanned. Since, since Ben's head is a tiny bit flat, the pediatrician said it's a good idea to get both of them scanned since, you know, they are twins. It could be a genetic thing. So she just kind of recommended that we get both boys scanned. So this month, since they are going to be seven months old, they usually don't treat a flat head until seven months old. Um, I'm going to make an appointment to get that checked out. Also, excuse the lighting. I'm using natural lighting and it's a pretty sunny day, but there are clouds that are coming in and out. So the lighting is probably going to be changing a lot, but we are going to get both Jack and Ben's heads evaluated by a neurosurgeon this month. So I will keep you guys updated on that. That is pretty much it for their doctor's appointment. Pretty standard. The boys did wind up getting two vaccines, which I think I mentioned in a few other clips, earlier clips, that the boys did so well. They did not flinch. They did not wince. They did not cry. They did so well for getting two shots, one in each leg. They seriously were so well behaved. I was very happy about that since you know, shots I feel like are harder on the parents and the child. I get so sad when my boys cry after a shot. So they did really, really well this month, which was nice. So that was everything for the doctor's appointment. So now I'm going to move on to eating, sleeping, developmental changes, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna start with eating. So the biggest thing that has probably changed over the past month is that the boys are now taking four eight ounce bottles a day. Previously, the boys were taking five seven or six ounce bottles. It kind of just depended on the time of day. But now we have switched to four eight ounce bottles and the boys get a bottle every four hours. Previously, they were drinking a bottle every three hours, but now they are able to go four hour stretches. So they're having four eight ounce bottles. They're still eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. They get cereal and their vitamins in the morning, a fruit or vegetable in the afternoon, and then cereal and a fruit or vegetable for dinner. And it's super exciting because now that the boys are six months old, they can start level two fruits and vegetables which there are some really yummy flavors. I saw like a banana cinnamon granola one. So I'm very excited to actually introduce new flavors to the boys and see their reactions. They're kind of getting like bored of the same old flavors. So Paris is actually going to go to Bye Bye Baby today and pick up some new flavors for the boys to check out. So I'm super excited to introduce that stuff to them. As for sleep, I can't remember if I mentioned this last month, but the boys take three naps a day. They take their first nap two hours after they wake up, and then they take another nap two and a half hours after that, and another nap two and a half hours after that. Their first and second nap are pretty long, usually an hour to an hour and a half. That second nap is usually an hour and a half. And then their third nap of the day is like a short little cat nap just to carry them over to bedtime. And it's probably like 30 minutes. I try and have them up from their last nap by 5 p.m. so that when they're ready for bed, they're actually tired and their bedtime is still anywhere from like seven to 7.30. We used to put the boys into bed at 7.30, but we found that it kind of takes them a little bit to wind down and fall asleep. And some nights they weren't falling asleep until eight, which to me is a little bit late. So we are trying to get them into bed at seven o'clock. So if it does take them a little bit longer to wind down, they are still falling asleep by 7.30. So we aim to have them in bed at around seven, 7.15, and they're still waking up anywhere from like six to seven o'clock in the morning. It is super variable, honestly, with what time they wake up. But the average, I would say, is about like 6.30. And even when the boys do wake up at around like six o'clock in the morning, I don't go into their room until 6.45. They're pretty happy when they wake up in the morning. And so they kind of just lay in bed and talk to one another and kind of play with their sleep sack and things like that. They're never super cranky. So I do wait to go into their room till about 6.45. And even when they wake up at like six o'clock in the morning, I could get away with that since they're not like angry or anything. So that is what we have going on for sleep. For growth and development, we finally have rollovers. Jack was actually the first one to roll over and I'll insert some footage here. 
but Jack was the first one to roll over from his belly to his back and he's definitely more consistent with it now. Ben only recently rolled over from his belly to his back and he's pretty inconsistent with it. It kind of, you know, takes him a while or he just doesn't do it as frequently as Jack does, but they are rolling over from their belly to their back, but no rollovers from their back to their belly yet. It does seem like Jack might do that soon. He has kind of been rolling onto his side more. So it might happen. I'm also dripping sweat because I'm filming in the room without air conditioning. But um, Jack seems like he might roll over from his back to his belly soon. But so far, just belly to back. They've somewhat found their feet. It's funny. If I hold their feet up, they will see them and play with them. But if they're just like laying on their back, they don't understand that they can like crunch their body up and get their feet. I think they might be too that i don't really know but they like don't know to crunch their own legs up and play with their feet but if i crunch their legs up for them and show them their feet they will play with them so they've somewhat found their feet they're not sitting up unassisted yet they do sit up assisted still and if i lean them the right way they are able to balance for a few seconds sometimes up to a minute so i think that they'll be sitting up unassisted pretty soon we have no teeth yet. I honestly thought Jack was getting a tooth and it looked like he was. I saw a white ridge and he was super cranky last week. I was teething like crazy. He was drooling, pulling at his jaw, putting things in his mouth. But at the pediatrician, she said he's probably not gonna get a tooth for another month or so, that it doesn't actually look like it's breaking through anytime soon. So still no teeth, Ben's pretty far from it, but it seemed like Jack was gonna get one, but he has not. And they are so much more interested in one another. I've caught a few conversations between them. They actually play now. They'll like kind of pass the toy back and forth. They will hold hands. They will actually reach out for the other one. They will like turn their bodies to face each other. So it's actually really cute now that they're starting to like play. They're not just kind of like touching each other anymore. They're actually like interacting. So that is super cute. Last thing I'm going to touch on, I know I'm going pretty fast, but it is hot in this room, so I'm sorry for that. But I feel like the main things that I wanted to update you guys on was like the eating changes, the rolling over, things like that. But I did ask you guys over on Instagram and a lot of you wanted to know personality differences. So I thought I would mention some of the main things. One being that Ben is such a daddy's boy and Jack is such a mama's boy. It's actually so funny that they have like a preference. Ben could sit on Harris's lap all day long and be content and happy. When Harris walks in the room, Ben seriously lights up and Jack is just such a cuddly, sweet baby. I call it doing nice boys when they like put their hands on my face for like a kiss or something like that. It is the cutest thing. And Jack always does it when he wakes up in the morning. He like grabs my face and wants a kiss and he always just wants to cuddle on me. So Ben is definitely daddy's boy. Jack is definitely a mama's boy. Ben knows what he wants when he wants it and he's super demanding. Jack gets very excited easily and I think someone else asked like which one's more talkative or do you think one's gonna talk before the other one and I honestly have to say it really depends on the day. Sometimes like one baby is super talkative and interactive and the other one kind of sits back and observes but the next day it could be like the complete opposite so i don't really know who's going to talk first me it seems like they talk an equal amount and they are just as loud these boys are seriously so loud sometimes but they get that from me so yeah i don't really know who's gonna talk first and like i said i feel like the main difference in personality is that they have like a preference for harris and i it's honestly the cutest thing but the boys are both super silly super funny they actually like make themselves laugh and they make each other laugh which is so 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 cute Something that Ben likes to do now is actually spit his food out at me. He will fill his mouth up with food and spit it. And Jack thinks it's so funny. And then Jack jumps on the bandwagon and does it also. So that is super funny. But I think that's everything I wanted to quickly update you guys on. Again, I am so sorry that this video is so delayed. I am going to try and get two other videos up this week to make up for the lack of content. But... I was not expecting what happened so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you were hit by this tropical storm super storm thing that hit the like new york area i hope you are safe i hope your family is safe i hope everything is going well our like area is finally getting cleaned up it seriously looked like a war zone out there there were streets that were blocked off for days there were trees in the street wires in the street poles down houses hit it was honestly insane and so it's just now starting to get cleaned up 
and it's like five days later. Harris's family is, you know, fine. His mom's car did have to be taken in. It's probably totaled and his home has some damage, but other than that, we are all safe. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. The next video that I will be posting will be a twin mom slash twin Q and A. And so if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram and you haven't asked me a question, I did post something on the community tab. So you can go comment a question on that, or you can leave your questions in the comment section below. I'll be filming that video in the next two days. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ticklish boobus. Honey, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't take your nappy in the morning. I see you. Hi, baby.